Hi, my name's Melissa. My daughter, Charlie, is 10 weeks old. Um, I had suspected when she was probably about a week old that she did have some sort of tongue tie or lip tie. Um, I noticed she had a sucking blister that developed like right in the middle of her upper lip and it never really went away. And she was not taking the bottle. Um, and it seemed like she would gag on it when we'd put the nipple in her mouth. She was gagging. Um, she would kind of take the nipple in her mouth and then push it to the side or chew on it, dribble the milk out. I tried many different bottles, different nipples, different flows, all kinds of things, and could never get her to, to take a bottle. The more time that went on, uh, the more I started to really think that there was something going on with, with her mouth physically that was preventing this. It wasn't just her preferring to breastfeed over taking a bottle. Um, so I started doing some research online and started to suspect she had a posterior tongue tie, which is a lot harder to diagnose. I uh, did some research and found uh, Wake Orthopedic and Pediatric Dentistry uh, and Dr. David Kornstein and um, went ahead and set up a consultation. The consultation was great. They were able to get me in the same day that I called. I was expecting to have to wait like a week or so. They were able to get me in the same day. And then we came in and we met with Dr. Dave and um, my, it was me, my husband, and uh, our daughter, Charlie. Um, I answered a questionnaire, questions about her nursing habits. And he was able to see just from the results of, of that questionnaire before he even looked in her mouth and said, yep, yeah, it sounds like she does have um, a tongue tie and a lip tie. Uh, he did a uh, evaluation of her and was able to confirm that, yep, she had uh, her uh, upper lip tie and then a posterior tongue tie as I had suspected. There was no pressure at all during the consultation. Um, he made sure we felt very, um, you know, confident in our decision to move forward with getting the procedure done. If we had wanted to take some time or had not wanted to move forward with it, there was no pressure to, to proceed with it. For us, it was a pretty easy decision. Um, we wanted to improve her quality of life um, and you know, make our lives potentially a little bit easier with her being happier and having some of her issues resolved. Um, so we went ahead and said, yep, let's go ahead and do it. The procedure itself took less than a minute. Uh, they swaddled her. She got lots of attention from Dr. Dave and the hygienists. Um, and he went in with the laser. Of course she cried, um, you know, you're cutting into the baby's mouth with the laser. It's gonna hurt a little bit but the whole thing was over in less than a minute. And by the time Dr. Dave could swoop her up and walk her over to me, she had already stopped crying and settled down. Um, and then I got some privacy to nurse her for about 15 minutes um, to kind of just settle her and calm her. Um, I noticed an immediate difference in her latch. It felt different. As she's healed, it's only gotten better. Um, she nurses now um, for 10, 15 minutes straight without taking a break at all, whereas before she was taking breaks every minute and she was really only latching and nursing for about five minutes total at a time. Um, I've also seen her hiccups getting better. Her spitting up has gotten a lot better. Her sleep is better. She was a very noisy sleeper. Um, prior to getting her procedure and she has settled down quite a bit now and is giving us really great stretches of sleep now, which is awesome. The other big thing I noticed is that she was finally able to flip her top lip out when she latched instead of curling it inward. It took her a couple days to kind of build up that muscle memory on it, um, but she's got a beautiful latch now. Everything looks, um, you know, right and proper. Um, and we're only, right now two weeks out from, from her procedure. Um, the best thing I could have done is choose Wake Orthodontics and Pediatric Dentistry. Um, and Dr. Kornstein, I um, really think he, he changed our lives uh, by, by doing this procedure. He was so great with Charlie. I'm looking forward to him being um, Charlie's dentist for, you know, for many, many years to come. Um, I have no regrets, no hesitations about the whole process.